2.1, answer the following questions. Uh, name any two participants of the circular flow model. So households, business sectors, governments, foreign sectors, anything along those lines. You just needed to name literally any two. 2.1.2, why does public sector failure lead to social instability? So 2.1.2, uh, the lives of people are, well, quite heavily destabilized and their human rights are also compromised. The community becomes rather disgruntled and they start making their demands through protesting. So look, you just had to give one point there that was quite well explained, right? 2.2, study the table below and answer the questions that follow. A uh, nice little data response question. Identify the base year that the South African Reserve Bank, SOB, uses to compile national account aggregates. So this is the gross value added by the kind of economic activity. The base year here is going to be 2015. It's the year we start with and start with, and these are the constant 2015 prices. So you've got the primary sector here, typically your big manufacturers, the secondary sector here, uh, like but if you're wholesalers, tertiary sector here, more your retailers. So manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, it's it's usually like that. 99% of the time. 2.2.2, give the alternative term used for gross value added in national accounts. Um, well, come on, look, if, if you don't know this one, my friend, I, I think you're a bit... Uh, you're a bit cooked. It's going to be GDP, gross domestic product. 2.2.3, briefly describe the term gross value added. So this is the value that is added on the goods at every stage of the production process. So the value that's added on. Answers almost in the name. 2.2.4, how are basic prices converted to market prices? Basic prices? Well, taxes on products are added to and subsidies on products are, are subtracted from. Okay, so taxes on products added to and subsidies are subtracted from uh, the GDP at basic prices to get the GDP at market prices. Okay, that's a, that's a very important question here. 2.2.4, I love that one. 2.2.5, why would economists prefer constant prices uh, to current prices when measuring economic growth? So constant versus current. Uh, that is 2.2.5. So constant prices are adjusted to exclude the effects of inflation, whereas current prices are not adjusted. Constant prices, they provide a true reflection on actual changes in the production of goods and services, while current prices, they give a more distorted reflection. Okay, so just a matter of constant versus current. Uh, anything along those lines would have scored you the mark. Nice little cute uh, macroeconomics video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.